here. You're looking at how <coughs> how did people explore, like, or why did they explore? They explored for like political, social, and economic reasons. This is kind of like the God, gold, and glory that we discussed before. There were people that were trying to make money, people that were trying to gain fame. So economic, you're thinking like money and jobs. Uh, when it comes to like political, you can think like people wanted to be in government positions. They wanted to be leaders. And then social, we're thinking about beliefs and relationships. Okay, beliefs and relationships. Okay, we have these pictures. Uh, this is showing like, so again, God, like with the Bible, you have gold, you have land. So again, these are the key reasons why people were exploring in the first place. Okay, so what you're going to do, you're going to go ahead and open, so with your Google Doc, you're going to go ahead and go insert table 5 by 2 or 2 by 5 and then you're going to put these topics in. We're going to look at how the Colombian exchange impacts these different groups. You have uh, like North America, Africans, Native Americans, Spanish settlements, Colombian exchange. Okay, so insert one of those tables if you're not sure. I'll review with you. Go ahead and just look up here. You can go, for example, you just click insert. The table, the five by two or two by five, same idea. It will just it's just like what ways the box they're facing. Okay, so insert then table. So you have Colombian exchange, Spanish settlements, Native. American. Okay, so Colombian exchange. What you're gonna put? So Colombian exchange. So this is the transfer of uh, people, goods, and diseases between continents. So like Europe and the Americas. And it starts as Columbus comes to America. Columbus doesn't bring all of these goods over, but he basically like sets the stage for other people to start coming to the Americas. So what you're going to do, you're going to write two examples from this list. So right here, you can see this picture. It has all these different things. And look at the directions of the arrows. So from the Americas, you have things like peppers, peanuts, potatoes, corn, beans. That's coming from the Americas to Europe. And then from Europe to the Americas, there's things like uh, cattle, sheep, pig, horse, pigs and horses, so all these different animals that come from Europe. You have bananas, you have diseases. If you look at like the skull with the crossbones. Okay, so you're going to put two examples in your notes of things that came from uh, one area to another. And then things that came from one area to another. Okay, and with this, Something that I thought was pretty interesting, uh, I didn't really pay as close attention when I was like younger, when I was your age, but when I became an adult, there was a book I was reading and it claimed that horses had been in the Americas like hundreds or like thousands of years ago. And there's archaeologists that have gone through and they're like, no, there's no like, there's no remains of horses before Columbus. And so that made me, that was an indicator of like, okay, whoever like wrote the book wasn't being accurate. So that idea even of like Colombian exchange became more interesting to me. It's like the idea is that, yeah, there were no like horses or cattle in the Americas at all before Columbus. Europeans brought those over. Potatoes, right? You look at potato here. As it went to Europe, it fed a lot of people. There were more people that were like starving in Europe before Okay, there were more people that were starving before. Okay, we're going to go on. So now you have Spanish settlements. Okay, Spanish settlements. <coughs> so Span the Spanish, they, they basically started these religious missions. And they'd get a lot of land. They'd put a huge plantation there to grow tobacco and sugar cane. They would uh, put up like a chapel. They'd put up like areas for the priests to live. They'd keep looking for gold and silver. So the Spanish were trying to get money from this. And this is, again, where we get into... The idea of God, gold, and glory. Okay, so you can look at some of the pictures of these religious missions. Does that look pretty nice? They were looking to build these in like the 1500s, 1600s. Okay, Native Americans. So what you're going to put here with Native Americans. Okay, so Native Americans, many died from disease. Their land was taken. They were forced to work on the plantations. Talked about how like per, uh, Cortez. And Pizarro, they like they took over like the Aztecs and Incas. It asked the question, why did Spain win? Well, a lot of it had to do with like their weapons, uh, them having horses. Also disease. You look in that picture, it's showing people, natives that are getting sick, that are dying of disease. Believe that's smallpox. Okay, so again, looking 
that disease that was 